Once upon a time, instant cameras were the most commonly spoken language in photography. But while Polaroid and Instax cameras have made a Lazarus-like comeback, today it's the smartphone that speaks the language of photography to most people. So instant cameras are great because you get an actual photograph, which you can gift to a friend or stick on the fridge or scrapbook or whatever you want to do, but you do get a physical artifact. Your picture actually exists in the real world. The problem is, instant cameras, they're kind of big, they're kind of bulky, this isn't going to fit in your pocket, and every time you press the shutter and a picture comes out, you're spending money. And film for instant cameras isn't that cheap. Smartphone cameras are great because these do fit in your pocket and they are always with you. You can take as many photographs as you want, it doesn't cost you anything to take them, but invariably they only ever exist in your phone, in a cavernous album that you've got to scroll forever to find, or on social media. They don't exist in real life, so the problem there is if you want to actually show them to somebody in a hurry, or if you lose your phone or your uh, social media gets shut down, those pictures might be gone forever. If only there was some way to uh, bridge the gap between these two mediums, and thankfully there is. It's the Polaroid Lab. The Polaroid Lab is a great idea. Its intention is to liberate your photographs from the limbo of your smartphone, turning them into real Polaroid film prints so they can actually be seen, shared and enjoyed. It's also a fun way to showcase your proper photography, enabling you to produce authentic Polaroid prints of your more elaborate images shot on DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, giving you a creative way to present your work. Unlike similar instant printers from Fujifilm, which print onto much smaller Instax Mini film, the Polaroid Lab prints onto full-size iType and 600 film. And while Instax printers receive and print a digital file via Bluetooth transfer, the Polaroid Lab actually takes a photograph of your phone screen. It's basically a Polaroid camera without a viewfinder or a flash, featuring a 5-element 35mm f33 lens. By placing your phone on the tray above the lens, the Polaroid Lab exposes an image and develops it using genuine photochemistry. So rather than simply reproducing your image onto instant film, as the Instaxes do, the Polaroid Lab creates a print using an authentic photographic process. Using the brilliantly designed Polaroid Originals app on your phone, simply select whether you're using colour or black and white film. Then choose the image that you want to expose. Then place your phone on the tray atop the Polaroid Lab, which will let you know if it's in the right place. Now simply press the big red button and the Lab will create an exposure from your screen and pop out a Polaroid. As well as creating a single square print of your image, the app also enables you to create landscape, portrait or creative collages using two, three, four, six or nine individual Polaroids, which is a very cool way to make enlargements or to make arrangements to display on your walls. If making a single print, you also have the option to add a piece of augmented reality media, which I thought was going to be a trashy gimmick, but it's actually really neat. By uploading a photo or video to your image, anybody who views it using the app will see it superimposed into the Polaroid frame, enabling you to share secret messages or add moving memories to accompany your frozen moments. Polaroids without a Polaroid? What manner of madness is this? It's a brilliant idea and it's brilliantly executed. What isn't always brilliant, however, are the resulting exposures. Like taking a real Polaroid photograph, the images are sometimes stunning and they're sometimes disappointing. There seems to be a particular disconnect between using black and white film and using colour film, and especially using colour film to print black and white images. In the main, I was overwhelmingly happy with the quality of shots that the Polaroid Lab produced on black and white film. Dark and contrasty images tend to work better than lighter, whiter images that contain subtle tonality, but on the whole they were crisp, crunchy, sharp and simply a joy to look at. However, things were a bit more hit and miss when using colour film, and the biggest takeaway is that you really, really shouldn't use colour film to print black and white images. 
Doing so betrays a unique property of the lab, whereby large areas of white are contaminated by a red-blue wash. Whether it's the result of the chemistry of color Polaroid film or simply a byproduct of the lab taking a photograph of a phone screen and misinterpreting color information of the individual pixels, this wash looks ghastly on mono images. And the same phenomenon is also present on color images bearing large expanses of white. In addition, brighter areas of print tend to appear overexposed, and they lose both sharpness and detail. But this loss of sharpness doesn't seem to affect the black and white film. The colour wash and the lack of crispness seems very specific to the colour film prints. Where the colour prints are far more successful, however, is in darker images, or those images that inherently contain a magenta and cyan palette. Some of our results were very pleasing indeed, and when the process worked, it really worked. But colour film definitely requires a lot more consideration than black and white. So, I've got one shot left on my pack of film in the Polaroid lab, and I'm going to conduct the most scientific test I can, which is to take a picture of these lovely, slightly decrepit looking flowers with my phone and print it off on the lab, and I'm going to take another picture of the lovely decrepit flowers with an actual Polaroid camera. Picture number one. Cool. You're joking. This is not the first time this has been a bit temperamental. Ooh. I'll need to differentiate these somehow. Polaroid Lab. Which one will win? She did not a Polaroid picture. So, all in all, all of these pictures, what do I think? Um, Am I happy with the Polaroid Lab? I think I am happy with it, you know. Uh, I, I think I do like it. I think I would actually buy one if I had to. Uh, probably with a mind primarily to printing out black and whites, because I think the black and whites, when they're successful, are really, really successful, and they seem to be successful more often than not. Uh, printing colour stuff, when it works, I think it really does work, but it seems to be more hit and miss, and it seems to be the case that if you've got a lot of white in your colour image, that's when you'll get this uh, slightly, uh, slightly strange colour wash effect that you might love and you might think is great. It might just be me that thinks it's a bit strange and odd looking. But uh, yeah, I think the Polaroid Lab is actually a pretty cool piece of kit and um, I can recommend at least going and checking one out somewhere. Uh, they're not hugely expensive. You might want to buy one just as a stocking filler for yourself, but I think it's a cool bit of kit and uh, I'm looking forward to taking more pictures and printing them. Our quibbles with the colour behaviour aren't entirely fair. The Polaroid Lab isn't simply a printer that's supposed to reproduce pictures from your phone, it's an actual camera, and it uses a genuine photochemical process to give you an authentically exposed instant print of your images. Colour haze and washed out detail are a part of that process, and they're also a part of the charm of instant photography. If you want an exact reproduction of your photos, you'd be far better served looking at some of the portable zinc printers from the likes of Polaroid, Kodak and Canon. However, if you want to transform your smartphone snaps, and indeed your proper photographs too, into real Polaroid prints with as much character as if you'd taken them on an instant camera, the Polaroid Lab is a fantastic and fun device, especially with its easily overlooked augmented reality features, which I think are among the device's real highlights. It's funky, it's flawed, and it's unashamedly photochemical. 
if you're an analog addict, the Polaroid Lab is well worth checking out.